well, another segment in my team, Kale, is the leopard dog who taught me some Shanghai. Every Sunday, this is not just for sports enthusiasts, by the way. There's so much, so much that can be learned from sports encounters that apply to non-athletes and people that have no interest in sports. Every Sunday, we would have a game, two-hand touch game at Carnington Field. Us older guys, we were out of high school. And there'd be two teams. It would be essentially the same players with some variation, depend on who showed up. But it was, it was basically the same people playing each other. These were clean, clean athletes. No one played dirty. No one tried to hurt each other. I've seen that in other encounters in football, but not these guys. So the one team was made up of guys that would come from Fishtown in Philadelphia. These are nice guys too. He was a quarterback and he brought his other friends, had a great arm. And he would play our Cardington team and their quarterback, the Fishtown quarterback was named Joe. I don't know his last name. Our quarterback was always Joe Wadling. Good quarterback, didn't have a strong arm, but he, he would reach you through long lofty passes. But he was a great runner, great foot speed. He had the ability to, to dodge guys that were trying to get him. And he was very effective and he would win every game. Wadlinger would win. He would have his favorite players. They weren't big. They were his friends. And so Wadlinger from Garnington would beat this team, Joe's team from Fishtown every week. There's no deviation there from same quarterback, same players. I would usually play for uh, Bob's team from Fishtown because Joe didn't want me. Obviously. Then, one day, the quarterback from Fishtown didn't show up. They were his friends were there, but they didn't show up. They had no quarterback. He was always their quarterback. Wadlinger was there, the guy that won all these games. So it was the team, <laughs> Bob's team, who wasn't there which means they didn't have a quarter, a team with no quarterback playing the best quarterback. Well, what happened then was an incredible lesson for sports and non-sports fans alike. Because you know how we, I don't know why we do this for quarterbacks, but there, there are these prima donnas that we focus on as if the rest of the team doesn't exist, especially the linemen doing all the work and the special teams being. So everything's about the quarterback. They're paid the most. Everybody talks about them. Oh, who's gonna be the starting quarterback? Who cares? Start somebody else and then put your starting quarterback in later. Anyway, I don't think anybody on a team should get that much attention to the exclusion of the others. So this quarterback from Fishtown, who never won a game, was not there. Guess what they did? That team alternated. Everybody took a turn being quarterback on that team. None of them were quarterbacks. Facing the quarterback, Wadlinger, who always won versus the Fishtown team. Guess who won? The team without a quarterback. The team who, in an emergency, used every player, meaning every non-quarterback, versus the great quarterback, Joe Wadlinger, and they won. The team without a quarterback won the game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what does that tell you? Reply to this. Tell me what that tells you. 
about our, our preconceived notions about who's good, about who who's a winner and who's capable. That was a great story. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for more tales of Cardington in Upper Darby. God bless you.